Hello, I'm Chris, and welcome to Earth Juice, your weekly sip of breakthroughs and discoveries from the natural world. Coming up this week, crocodiles more sensitive than you might think, beetles with an unpleasant trick for keeping cool, and a secret shark sex cafe. That's right, I said it, but let's juice. First up, crocodiles, famous for tearing open zebra and grabbing wildebeest from the banks of rivers. However, recent research has shown that crocodilians have an altogether more sensitive side, or rather, sides of their mouths. Neuroscientists from Nashville, Rakahula, Rak, Rakahula, sorry, have discovered that the tiny black bumps on a crocodile's jaw are not just a pretty pattern, and in fact are more sensitive than our own fingertips. Duncan Leach from Vanderbilt University explained that the jaws perform many of the same functions as hands would, if they actually had them, and that crocodiles can actually be incredibly delicate with their powerful jaws. Using a calibrated set of fibres, I'm guessing a kind of high-tech tickling stick, the scientists bravely excited the bumps on the jaws of edgy crocs. They found that the crocodiles were receptive to forces or tickles much finer than we would feel on our own fingertips, revealing that these bumps are in fact specialised cell receptors and are the ends of nerves that thread through their jaws, allowing crocs who often hunt at night to feel their way around and strike at prey even in the dark. With more research, not only do the scientists hope to get a better understanding of how different nervous systems evolve to solve similar tasks, but they also hope to keep all of their limbs. Dung beetles. Imagine being one of them. It's baking hot. You spend all day rolling a massive ball around and the ball is made of dung. What a life. But researchers from Lund University in Sweden have recently discovered how these insects keep cool in the heat. Now, before going anywhere, dung beetles perform an orientation dance. Climbing on top of their ball, they rotate it with their feet, gathering their bearings before setting off across the savannah. While performing this dance, the researchers noticed that the plucky dung beetles were climbing on top of the dung much more often when it was hot, and that they appeared to be using the wet dung as a cooling device. To test the connection between heat, feet and dung, Swedish biologist and, it appears, amateur cobbler Jochen Smolker attached tiny silicon boots to the beetles' legs to protect their feet from the hot ground. To his surprise, and mine, the experiment worked. The boot-wearing beetles climbed on their dung balls far less often than their shoeless comrades. So, next time you're on the beach and you're trying to walk across some hot sand, why not give your feet a break and stand in some dung? Actually, don't do that. That's just weird. Finally, big news from the shark world. While often spotted munching on seals or appearing in Hollywood blockbusters, other aspects of the great white shark's watery lives remain a mystery, especially where they go to breed. But researchers from the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California have tracked the sharks to a suspected secret sex camp. Mm -mm where they've recorded data from tag sharks that shows them literally going up and down all day long. During winter and spring, great whites gather in a remote area of water between Hawaii and Baja, known as the White Shark Cafe, which is actually a rubbish name as there's virtually no food there. It's been recently revealed that the frolicsome sharks spend their time diving down to depths of up to 500 meters and then straight back up again, doing this up to 150 times a day. And this behavior has never been recorded in any other species of shark. Scientists analyzed their data, and I'm sure there was some kind of pie chart involved, and they concluded that the males were probably showing off. Never. Swimming side by side and displaying their strength and endurance to the frisky females. They also recorded that the females spent far less time in the center of the cafe, suggesting that they swim in, pick out a suitor, do it, and leave. While the actual act of copulation still remains a mystery, this new data demonstrates that this site is highly important to the sharks and brings researchers one step closer to understanding the extraordinary lengths that these big fish go to in order to get it on. Oof, it's hot in space. I'm off to cool my feet in a nice fresh pile of animal dung. If you liked it, like us. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. And if you've got any of your own Earth discoveries you'd like to share, tell us about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. That was Earth Juice. See you next time.